welcome back all of you to the concept education channel in this engineering graphics subjects our journey started from a single point then it travels to lines then planes and the next station is now the solids in today's lecture we'll see the introduction of solids then we'll see the projection of solids first let's have the introduction what is meant by solid what are the different types of solids etc so solid means it is having three dimensions it has length breadth and thickness also or height also okay in planes we have studied only two dimensions in lines we have seen only one dimension that is length for point there is no any dimension but for solid there are three dimensions that is length height and either breadth we can say or the thickness okay so these are the solids so what are the types of solids or classification of solids so solids are mainly divided into two types one is polyhedrals or polyhedrons and second is solid of revolution in polyhedrals the polyhedrals are subdivided into three types that is regular polyhedrals then prisms and pyramids in solids of revolution three solids of revolution first is cylinder another is cone and third one is sphere so cylinder is obtained by revolving a rectangular plane about one of the sides through 360 degrees second is cone right circular cone obviously a right angle triangle is revolved about one of its right angle side through 360 degrees then third is sphere it is obtained by revolving a semi circle about its straight edge that is diameter through 360 degree or we can say like that circle is revolved about its diameter through 180 degrees only okay this is very interesting so these are the solids of revolution so let's go to the polyhedrals in regular polyhedrals first regular uh, polyhedron is the tetrahedron tetra means four this solid is having four equilateral triangular faces this is very interesting this come school mein prism kaha karte the but this is not the prism remember so in engineering drawing or engineering graphics tetrahedron is having four equal faces and all these four equal faces are triangles equilateral triangles and it requires only one dimension okay the next one is hexahedron have you seen hexahedron no very interesting you have seen this solid many times but this is popularly called as cube cube is having six equal faces that's why the name is hexahedron and all these equal faces are squares okay so cube is also called as hexahedron its technical name is hexahedron then next is octahedron octa means 8 the solid having eight equal faces and all these eight equal faces are equilateral triangles again tetrahedron is also having triangular face equilateral triangular face octahedron is also having equilateral triangular face then dodecahedron dodecahedron which is having 12 equal faces and all these 12 faces are pentagons regular pentagons obviously but for knowledge point of view we should know what is mean by dodecahedron dodecahedron is a solid having 12 equal faces and all these 12 faces are pentagons then icosahedron not isocahedron icosahedron having 20 equal faces and these 20 faces are equilateral triangles alternate tetrahedron is having triangle octahedron is all uh, octahedron is also equilateral triangular face 
and icosahedron is also equilateral triangular face so tetrahedron four faces triangles hexahedron that is cube six faces squares octahedron eight faces triangles dodecahedron 12 faces pentagons icosahedron 20 faces triangles so these are the regular polyhedrons then prism prism means the solid having base and top same base and top same if the base is triangle top is triangle the solid is called as triangular prism if base is square top is also square it is square prism base pentagon top pentagon pentagonal prism base hexagon top hexagon hexagonal prism etc then pyramids if base is triangle and all these corners of the base are connected to a different point separate point which is called as apex then the solid is called as pyramid just imagine the structure of pyramid in Egypt okay so if all corners of base are connected to apex then this is called as triangular pyramid if base is square and there is apex all base corners are connected to apex this, this is called as square pyramid base is pentagon there is apex and all base corners are connected to apex then it is pentagonal pyramid Similarly, if the base is hexagon, all base corners are connected to apex, this is hexagonal pyramid. But if the base is square, uh, if the base is circle and it is connected to apex, this is not circular pyramid. This is separate solid called as solid of revolution that is cone. Right? So this is all about the classification of solids. Okay, now we will see the knowledge of or the introduction of each and every part okay let's take an example of a pentagonal prism this is a pentagonal prism so name these corners as a b c d e and the top as 1 2 3 4 5 then this is base so a is called base corner then a b is called as base side or base edge base side or base edge then a b c d e complete surface is called as base then a1 or b2 or c3 these are called as longer edges longer edges okay then this surface this face a b 2 1 a this complete surface is called as a face and how is the shape rectangular that's why the name is rectangular face for every prism the face will be rectangular rectangular face okay then center of base and center of top if you join these two centers by by an imaginary line then this line is called as axis okay generally the solids are the prisms are specified in terms of base side and axis only two dimensions we need base and base side and axis then take the example of pyramid or pentagonal pyramid base corner this is base side this is base these are common parts between prism and pyramid then uh, there is slant edge in pyramid but in prism instead of slant edge it was longer edge this this is the differentiating point between prism and pyramid longer edge prism mein hota hai slant edge pyramid mein hota hai then the face observe the face face of the pyramid how is this triangular whatever will be the type of pyramid it may be triangular pyramid it may be, it may be square pyramid it may be pentagonal pyramid it may be hexagonal pyramid every pyramid is having what triangular triangular face every pyramid is having triangular face then this is apex so the two important 
differentiating points are in prism there is longer edge in pyramid there is slant edge in prism the face is rectangular face in pyramid the face is what triangular right so these are mostly used solids and the next part is how to take the projections of these solids this is very much similar to the previous chapter that is projection of planes